Uh, this is Christina and this is my weekly artist reviews where I talk about artists that inspire me and I would like to introduce them to you. For more of these videos, please uh, check out my uh, IGTV or YouTube channel and you can also support me on Patreon. Okay, let's have a look. Today's artist is Luo Yang. Uh, she is a Chinese photographer, very renowned and uh, she recently had last year and uh, the year before, if, if I'm not mistaken, she had her um, retrospective of her work, of her um, over decade long project where she was photographing uh, girls. The, the project is named Girls. So let me introduce you to this project. So you can see um, her approach to uh, her subject, to um, uh, framing and posing her subjects, uh, selection of her subjects, how she finds them, how she views them, what's important to her uh, in these images. So um, she was born in 19 1984 in China and she graduated from uh, Academy of Arts in Shenyang as a graphic designer actually but she was already attracted to photography and decided that that's what she wanted to pursue and uh, the way she describes this is this photography was a way to release her feelings and she wanted to record uh, people's touching and authentic moments so she was sort of exploring herself and at the same time exploring her subject. So that's why uh, her main focus is on female subjects, although uh, recently she's been working also the, the male subjects and in general the youth, trying to find what defines the youth, what, you know, how they express, how the young people of today express themselves, what's important to them, what it it feels like to be different, to maybe stand for your own ground, for your own ideals, to, you know, to, to, to maybe search for your own identity, for your own self. And that's what also is important to her when she uh, studies her subjects and tries to reflect their personality, their inner world in her images. Uh, I think her work is very striking and no wonder she got such a big recognition um, all over the world and she's done a lot of uh, exhibitions and uh, a lot of uh, prestigious magazines and newspapers wrote about her and um, you know uh, featured her as a sort of a voice of uh, young artists young chinese artists specifically uh, so the voice of China and the voice of China's youth and female youth. Mm. When she talks about her work, uh, she says that it's important to her to explore the femininity while challenging traditional beliefs about women in Chinese society. And I think uh, also exposed to the rest of the world, to the Western world, you know, what Chinese women can be like, as opposed to tra this traditional, uh, you know, understanding and beliefs of, of them. So it's both challenging inside the Chinese society, but also in the rest of the world. Um, so I think she's shifting the concepts in her work of mm, femininity and identity. And as you can see, and what especially attracts me is that a lot of women are um, nude, they have short haircuts, um, they have tattoos, they are very confident with exposing their body to the camera, but at the same time when you look closer you can see the fragility and insecurity and I think that's what makes her work so Mm, attractive and so like you respond to it so well as especially me as a woman and as an artist who is exploring the same sort of concepts what 
what it is like to be a woman, you know, what is what is important here in in the modern day culture, in the modern day society, what is expected of women, what 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 do we see them as and what do we what do we even know about this female world and you know her subjects i think are always pushing those boundary boundaries and what is interesting is that she is able to show both that you know very strong presence and confidence but at the same time you can see some insecurities and vulnerabilities on the inside and i was very curious um, to know how she approaches her shoots and her finds her subjects and directs them and i watched and read several interviews with her and what she says that um, some of these are her friends but a lot of the subjects are actually someone that she met for the first time whether through uh, online or um, somewhere in the street and um, she approaches them and uh, they start talking and um, she sort of gets to know them while they are on set while they are you know working on the shoot and um, she observes her subjects and then she starts um, maybe making suggestions of what they can do and how they can pose and while giving them these slight directions she also makes them feel relaxed and comfortable and at the same time confident in front of the camera which i think is really really important and um you know to feel a sub to make the subject feel at ease in front of the camera is such an essential part of her project so on the one hand they are very self-aware on the other hand you can still see their fragility because they know they're opening up to the camera and she even says that um, they become friends during the shoot and stay friends uh, for you know for a long time after that which is i find quite interesting because it's i also feel the same way because it's so important to connect with your subject and of course you're sort of becoming friends and with some people you become really good friends even afterwards um so while she shoots them i think she combines these techniques of um you know staging the shot but also making it look like it's a snapshot like it's just the moment that happened and that's what you know that's her magic right that's what makes her images work so well so it doesn't look obviously staged it really feels like it it just happened and she just happened to be there and document that really special really vulnerable or really maybe strong empowering moment uh, this particular project uh, is uh, just uh, portraits i guess of this um, young woman called wang yan yun um, I remember reading a story about this behind this project that uh, she divorced her husband and uh, decided that you know she wanted to start her life from scratch so she decided to shave off her hair and her boyfriend helped her do that and I think she came back to photograph her sometime later when she went, was pregnant and so also captured those moments of her you know, going through this important stage of, of um, every woman being pregnant, um, you know, transforming her body and, uh, you know, transitioning into this new role, which I think is really special. This moment, of course, is very special. Um, so, um, you know, these moments, and you feel like you really, you really are there as a viewer and you're connecting. Uh, with the subject and you seeing, you know, you you picking into their lives and you seeing them going through different changes and, you know, finding themselves maybe, or you know, establishing themselves and finding their identity. Uh, so that's why I think her work is so important to um, 
to her, of course, but also to many young women, many young people around the world and in China as well. And there's another article that I want to show you, an interview with her, uh, just documenting uh, Chinese youth. And it starts with a quote, I do think that every girl her has her own beauty. And it's also what I want to, what I intend to present in my works. Girls who are real, confident, and stay true to themselves are beautiful to me. And this quote means so much to me because I feel the same way. I don't necessarily look in my subjects for, you know, perfect features or conventional uh, beauty elements and, you know, expressions of beauty. I really think that uniqueness and confidence and being true to yourself, that's what make people attracted to you. And that's what is really important and that's what I find beautiful as a, as a photographer. So it's a really interesting article about the retrospective of her work and, um, you know, there's a little more pictures from this project about girls and, you know, showing the vulnerability and the strength of them. And yeah, so I really encourage you to look up her work and uh, try and understand her world. I think it's, it's really important what she's trying to say as an artist. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you want to support me on Patreon, please do so. I'll be happy if you do it. And uh, stay tuned for next videos.